density problem where we're given information about uh, gasoline. It has a density of 0 0.8206 grams per uh, milliliter. Notice the units there. And we're starting, which is a volume, and we're starting with 22.3 gallons, which is a, an English uh, measure for uh, volume. So um, here we want to know the mass of the gasoline. It's very easy to uh, visualize this. We have a certain number of gallons of gas. That's the density. We just need to know how heavy it is, right? How much mass is it in kilograms? Um, I'm going to go ahead and do that uh, kilograms first. So in, in this problem, we first want to consider how to convert gallons to uh, milliliters. We have some information. Uh, one gallon is equal to four quarts. And we also know that one liter is equal to 1.0 five nine quarts. So we're going to use these two quantities to help us um, in steps one and two listed in the description of this video convert the 22.3 gallons to uh, liters and then eventually milliliters. So uh, four quarts is equal to one gallon. So here you can see how the gallons cancel and then also we know that one liter is equivalent to 1.059 quarts. So here the quarts cancels. So manipulate your uh, conversion factors so that the units are aligned diagonally. And if we do this on our calculator, we get 84.23 liters. Now what you'll see me do in this video is uh, take extra digits here in the result and I'll round to three sig figs at the very end of the problem. In step three, we need to convert 84.23 liters to milliliters. And for that, we use uh, the King Henry mnemonic. So we want to move this decimal place three to the right. Okay. And so that's going to create this new number. Eight uh, 84,230 milliliters. And I went ahead and put the decimal place there. You don't need to use that. Uh, in step four, we want to use density as a conversion factor. Now we have the volume in milliliters and the density in grams per milliliters. So it's rather easy to find the uh, mass here in grams. So we have 0 0.8206 grams per one milliliter which is uh, the density, okay? And we multiply that by the volume in milliliters. And here you can see uh, that the milliliters nicely cancels, and this will be the mass of the uh, gasoline in grams. Okay, that's what my calculator shows, a whole bunch of digits there. Now, in uh, one of the final steps here is uh, to convert this grams to uh, kilograms, okay? Kilo is, uh, means 1,000, right? So we want to move this decimal place over 1,000. I mean, uh, three spots between the 9 and the 1 there. And that gives us, uh, for step 5, 69. All this stuff, grams, uh, kilograms. Okay, so we have the correct units here. Now we want to round this off to three sig figs, and so our final answer is going to be 69.1 kilograms. All right, uh, the last thing to do would be to convert that to pounds, and I'll leave it up to you. That's just one single step. This is how you work with the density. This problem involves a lot of conversions.